And we're gonna stop touching our hair in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to apply false lashes. I realize that I show you guys almost every single time in my tutorials how I apply false lashes, but I kind of just speed right through it. Sometimes I only show you me sticking one lash on. So I am now a fully certified lash junkie. I have way too many lashes, but I have a few select few that are like my favorites, my all times, my go-to lashes. So I'm going to share one pair with you guys today. A lot of you guys have asked before when I've worn them and they are my, seriously, I am so obsessed with these lashes. They are the Velour Doll Me Ups. These are just so stunning. I have a very specific style of lash that I like. All of my lashes, like I have tons of different ones, but I mainly gravitate towards, towards styles like this. This kind of wispy style, very long, very dramatic, and but has like a lot of separation in between the lash. I love these velour lashes. You can get away with wearing these for like 25 times. They're super, super lightweight and really feathery. I just, I honestly cannot say enough good things about them. I thought my cat was trying to creep on me, but he's not. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys how I apply these, and hopefully it'll give you a little more confidence in wearing false lashes, because I feel like false lashes... <laughs> I feel like false lashes just bump up any look and give it that extra... Mm. I have pretty long lashes in general, so what I do before I apply my lashes is I just throw on a few coats of mascara, so I'm just going to do that really quick. Um, and yeah, nothing hard about this. Some people like to apply their false lashes with no mascara on their eye, that is totally up to you, but I feel like my natural lashes will blend better with the falsies when I give them just a coat of mascara. I used to go full on crazy and do like five coats of mascara and lashes, um, but all that is not needed. All you need really is just one good coat of mascara. It's hard to talk and apply mascara, I never realized it, and you should be good to go. Okay, so I'm just going to peel these off of the little box that they come in and you just kind of want to be careful to not tug on the lash because you don't want to accidentally pull any of the lash off. You want to apply them how they come in the box. So this is going to be your left eye and this is going to be our right eye. So we're going to do our left eye first and sometimes I'll get confused when I'm applying lashes and I'm like, which eye is this? So I always have to like look back even though these doll me up lashes are pretty much identical on each side. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer, thin layer of lash glue to the band, like so. So we have a very small amount of lash glue on here. The longer that you wait to apply these, the better it's going to be because you're, well not long, like don't take five minutes to apply your lashes or anything, but um, give it a good 30, 45 seconds just so that the glue gets really tacky. Especially if you're working with a thicker lash band, you want your adhesive to be pretty sticky so when you stick it on your eye, it's gonna stick there, it's not gonna wiggle around because ones that have a thicker band can be a little bit tricky to apply, but they're usually the better ones. Just give it a second, most of the time I will just, you know, check my Instagram while I'm letting this lash dry and while I'm sitting here waiting for this to dry this is a great time to tell you guys that I do have a coupon code for you guys it will be listed in the bottom bar it is Nicole Velour it'll give you 15% off your purchase and the good thing about these lashes like I said is they are totally reusable they're not like cheap $2 lashes that I buy all the time and just throw away after one use these I will wear until I just cannot wear these things anymore I'm not even joking this is my second pair of doll me up lashes my first ones I've had for over a year and I finally just threw them away because I got a new pair. <laughs> I just like to make sure that these are really nice and tacky before I apply them because like I said, I like them to stick to my eye before I start wiggling them around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a pair of tweezers. These are like my lash tweezers even though they're not made for lashes. I like them because they're smaller than regular tweezers and it just makes everything easier. Shout out to all the girls that can apply lashes with just their fingers. You go girl. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take my lash, set it on my eye, And I'm going to make sure that the middle is secure first. You see how I just stuck that on there and it just kind of is hanging out there? That's because our lash glue is really tacky and it's just going to adhere to whatever we stick it to. So I like to make sure that my middle is anchored down first. And then I like to pop down the end of the lash. Like that. And then I like to squeeze my lashes to it so that they blend more. And then I'll go right in the front and stick this down and you just want to make sure it's down and you want to get lashes as close to your natural lash line as possible and then I like to go in and 
push on them. And then I just like, again, to squeeze everything together. And sometimes this happens. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but sometimes a lash will mess up your liner. You want to go back over it with your liquid liner. You want to do this in general to hide your lash strip. And we got one lash on. So I have pretty big eyeballs, so most lashes fit me without me having to trim them. If you have a smaller eye, you may want to, before you put your lash glue on, measure it to your eye to make sure everything fits. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and snip any extra off that you need so that you'll have a custom fit lash for yourself. So again, we are just going to secure the middle and then we are going to secure the end. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to secure the other end. And voila! No, girl, this one is not. And bam, our lashes are on. False lashes are really easy to apply. I just feel like it takes a little bit of practice and getting used to. And also finding a lash that works well for you. Everybody's preference is different. Everyone's choices are different. So the lash style that you pick is totally up to you. Me, myself, I, again, like this really wispy, long, dramatic, but natural looking lash if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm also going to show you guys how to apply individual lashes on your lower lash line just because we're talking about false lashes. I have individual sitting right here, my battery just died, and I popped four on so I was like why not show them how to do these too. As you can see this eye just looks a little more dramatic because I have four little shorties. I am not somebody who wears bottom lashes ever. I just thought, hey, we're talking about false lashes and maybe some of you would like to know how to apply individuals. So what I do is I just squeeze out a little bit of lash glue onto anything and then I wait for it to get a little bit tacky. And so we have the short length, medium length, and long length. I'm just going to pick up a little shorty, like so. It's teeny tiny. And then all I do is just kind of dunk it into the lash glue. It's already tacky because it's been sitting out. And then what you want to do is you want to come underneath your lashes and stick them on your lash line. And they stick pretty easily because they're so lightweight. And now I have one bottom boy on. You're going to go under your regular lashes and then stick it to your lower lash line. I couldn't imagine doing this on a regular basis, but if you want to get fancy one day, girl, you know how to apply them individuals. And I have bottom lashes. All you really want to do is make sure that your lash glue is nice and tacky before you apply them, because when your glue is tacky, it just makes everything way easier. If you were to put your lash glue on and then go ahead and stick your lashes right onto your lash, What's going to happen is your lash is going to slide all over the place and you're going to be like, why is it so hard? You're going to end up gluing your eyes shut and then you're just not going to want to wear false lashes. Whether it be strip lashes or individual lashes, it is super, super easy. All it takes is a little bit of practice and I promise you will get the hang of it. But let me give you a warning. Don't start wearing false lashes unless you want to wear false lashes like all the time because I try, believe me, I try not to wear false lashes and I'll do my whole face, everything and be like, I'm not going to wear lashes, I'm not going to wear lashes and then most of the time I pop lashes on five minutes before I walk out the door because I'm just like, I need a lash. I need a lash. So, forewarning, if you start wearing false lashes, you're going to be stuck wearing false lashes for the rest of your life. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.